Congratulations, because the president just raised his offer in the negotiations a fortune to get you a second stimulus package. Wow, congratulations, everybody. This is Evening's LLA. I did not think I was reporting this on a Friday evening, but congratulations. The president just raised an incredible offer on the second stimulus package to finally, narrowly, almost get you that second stimulus deal. This is incredibly great news. This is Evening's LLA, our one-hour programming block that starts every night with the check and then goes usually to EIDL. But because of this incredible breaking news, minutes ago, I am going to offer a, a 30-minute special report on September and stimulus right after this one. Let me get to the incredible details, which I don't think anyone's reporting except this channel and Reuters, who broke the story. Unbeknownst to anyone, really, and certainly Nancy Pelosi did not want you to know, and I'll get to that in a second, the president raised his second stimulus offer a fortune yesterday. If you recall yesterday, Mark Meadows was reaching out to Nancy Pelosi for upwards of a week. He had something to say. He absolutely has something to say. And what did he have to say? The president had a lot more money to put on the table to get a second stimulus package done. Finally, if you haven't hit the like button on this video, this is the time to hit it. Um, the HEALS Act, HEROES Act, and CARES Act all had different monetizations, different amounts. When this channel was just like this small, and I first started reporting second stimulus, I said, hey, you know, the CARES Act was $2 trillion. The HEROES Act with Nancy is $3 trillion. It's actually $3.3 trillion. And the HEALS Act, which at that point we didn't have, we all thought was going to come in around a trillion. At that time, I reported that the president would likely support something around $2 trillion, what mirrored the CARES Act, but may back up to about $1.5 trillion. That was, you know... <laughs> what was that? That was when we had like 50,000 subscribers about a week ago. Uh, you know, the president at that time clearly in quiet chatter would do $2 trillion and would do $1.5. But when Mitch debuted his Heels Act, which he wrote, I mean, the president didn't write it, it was on the heels, <laughs> ironically, of a lot of Republicans who just want to give, did not want to give a lot of money. Mitch was appeasing to a part of the party, the Republican Party, that was not on board to giving a lot of money. Well, guess what happened earlier this week? Earlier this week, the skinny bill draft, it's not a bill, but it's a draft written by Mitch again, filtered online. And that draft went from $1 trillion to $500 billion. It contracted. Those same group of Republicans who just don't want to give a lot of money said, you know what, we're going to pull back. We're going to give even less money. We're going to give you $500 billion, half of what the Heels Act said. Well, that was Mitch's group. Well, guess what the President of the United States was doing? He was talking to Mark Meadows, Movie Meadows, his chief of staff, and said, hey, you know what, let's, um, let's come up with some more money. This is before, you know, Steve Mnuchin comes in the picture, which I'll get to in a second, his Treasury Secretary. He said, let's come up with more money. At that point, the president really didn't have a number. Nancy's was at three trillion, three point three trillion, and next he continually said, and "I'll get to her comments in a second, that she'll settle this if you tell her exactly the amount she wants from you." Which no one negotiates like that. No one says, "I'll settle if you give me exactly this number," and if she can go to the match, she's not going to win because no one negotiates like that. She sat back and said, "You know, if the president gives me exactly two trillion, I will settle. Um, you're at one trillion. Come to two trillion, I'll come from 3.3 trillion to 2 trillion, and we'll settle at 2 trillion. Ironically, you know, when I first reported stimulus, I said, hey, 2 trillion is probably what the president will do. Uh, that's not unusual. That's what the first CARES Act said. And all the chatter at the time said the president would do 2 trillion. 
Well, congratulations. Because tonight, the president came from, you know, $500 billion this morning with the skinny bill, all the way up to $1.3 trillion, nearly an $800 billion jump up, and a $300 billion jump up from the last draft of the Heals Act, now putting him within only $700 billion from what Nancy proclaims as her death wish grip settlement amount. Um, it is so inherently close on just a, you know, a Friday afternoon that we are literally on the cusp of having it done. Congratulations. Now, why has no one really talked about this? This is really sort of the subject of matter. I understand it's a Friday news cycle. Brian Williams once said, um, if you ever want something to die, release it on a Friday afternoon. Just no one talks about news on a Friday afternoon. Uh, and that's when this came out. It came out minutes ago. It came out from Reuters. White House Chief of Staff on Friday um, said that the president would be willing for a $1.3 trillion coronavirus for relief, an increase in what, $300 billion um, just minutes ago. The Republican president is, quote, right now willing to, willing to sign something at $1.3 trillion, and the offer has been, number has been offered in private to Nancy Pelosi. Um, when was it offered? It was offered during that telephone conversation. Who, who keeps you up to date? I mean, I told you this morning, I told you this morning that after that telephone conversation, Nancy Pelosi was just running her mouth about how horrible it was, how nothing happened, how it absolutely was just a waste of time. And Mark Meadows had no comment. No comment. And I said, it's always the person who has no comment that is going to tell you a little bit more. Um... Fellow Republican Mitch McConnell also raised his offer, so you know he may have offered you five hundred billion yesterday. Well, he raised his as well. Proposed a one trillion dollar heavily on liability protection for businesses and schools. Um, Meadows added he had some very good conversations. I mean, this keeps on rolling out the Great News Express um, with both progressive and moderates as he helped to to get the latest round of stimulus talks going again. Boy, uh, if you've not hit that like button, you better be hitting it soon. Um, this is just insanely good news. Now, the rest of the conversation was Hot Mess Express on Thursday. We now know that, you know, Meadows called up and said, hey, I have $1.3 trillion. And Nancy said, you know, um, I have to go braid my hair, so goodbye. And whatever is your name? <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. That's basically what it was. He said the rest of the conversation was much of nothing. That's an actual quote. <laughs> but he didn't remember her name. And Nancy Pelosi was really to, to really to, ready to issue a statement saying it's just children going hungry, children going hungry. And I'm not exaggerating that as well. She did it again. Um, now, Pelosi also said tonight and yesterday, I have both her remarks, that Democrats are not budging on the latest offer. Yes, they are, Nancy. You're just not keeping your head out of the sand. They have, and they will, and it's going to get done. Um, there are two sets of comments I have from her. The first one is the one that was issued yesterday after this incredible $1.3 billion offer. She said the conversations made clear that the White House continues to disregard the needs of American people as the coronavirus crisis devastates lives and livelihoods. No, it doesn't. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Originally, the House and De Democrats made clear they'd be willing to cut $1 trillion if the White House added a trillion dollars. Okay, I, we've heard this before. Um, the investments will not only help to crush the virus, it'll help bolster the economy. No, it won't. Um, you're trying to give a big bailout to uh, Gavin and, and Andrew. Um, she talked about science. Coronavirus, the, the stimulus package has nothing to do with science. Um, then she talked about how long it's been since the HEALS Act has passed. And then she said the same thing, according, abandoning 14 million hungry children in America, um, abandoning, and she, again, she, I mean, she just really puff, proffers a lot of fake news. Um, she says that Steve Mnuchin offered $250,000 for, for food, 
It's just not true, Nancy. I mean, you're such a liar. I mean, Steve Mnuchin said how much he offered. He offered millions, if not billions, for you for, for food. $250,000 was the original offer. Why do you keep on talking about people's original offer after two and a half weeks of negotiations with you? That's why people just don't believe you anymore. It's just awful. Um, then she keeps on saying that that Democrats Republicans want to make America go hungry. No, they don't. They just don't want to. Uh, they just don't want Gavin and Andrew to get too fat on the food you want to give them. Um, abandoning the voters of our democracy. But here it was. It was basically two pages. And you know how much um, economic? How many numbers were in this two-page statement? This is yesterday. Nothing. There's nothing in here. Um, all it talks about is the two hundred fifty thousand dollars for kids eating, which is just not true. And then $16 billion for testing tracing, um, which is, again, not true. Steve raised his number. Um, but that was then. You would think today, when she issued a new statement, it would be better. Um, let's look at today's statement, which I obtained many minutes ago about, you know, now she's trying to cast more, you know, disparagement against the other side. So how many numbers does Nancy Pelosi give us in the latest announcement to fellow Democrat, Democrats? Um, well, none. <laughs> that took very long. Uh, she says the same thing, kind of one trillion, one trillion, one trillion, kind of one trillion. Uh, Mitch McConnell has come down to 500 billion. Well, no, um, she's, this is what she's very good at. Um, she's talking about Mitch McConnell's $500 billion skinny bill, which was... Four days ago, Mitch McConnell, as of yesterday, was at one trillion. She doesn't tell you that. Um, she also doesn't tell you that that Meadows offered her one point three bill a trillion. She doesn't mention that as well. She thinks Americans are stupid. I mean, she really just, I don't know, with, is that something they do in Northern California? We just assume everyone else is a bunch of buffoons. Nancy, um, you know, we're not that stupid. Uh, so then she kept on talking about uh, people going hungry. Now, the only thing that's really, really good news in her statement is that her priorities are there. Um, there is talk about hazard pay. There is, yeah, 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 there is talk about hazard pay. There is talk about eviction moratorium. There is talk about stimulus checks. So it is really good. The numbers aren't there, but we're to presume that because you know, she doesn't mention numbers, she's just repeating the numbers of the HEROES Act. So she talks about frontline workers, um, hazard pay. She says um, Republicans have contempt for first, ra first responders and frontline workers, in addition to teachers. Support for teachers and education are essential for our children. Okay. Um, you know, the president just a week ago tweeted he was ready to send out money to frontline workers. He actually used his exact word and included teachers, first responders in his tweet. So I don't know to what extent that is a an accurate portrayal of what the Republicans have offered Nancy again. Um, that's her version of the story. Um, as to stimulus checks, she doesn't talk about a number. She doesn't talk about, you know, if it's going to be taken out for child support. You know, the original Heroes Act does not. She doesn't talk about the number of families, number, a number of family individuals in the household who will get a stimulus check. The Heroes Act says five members, $1,200. She doesn't talk about the issue of dependents. You know, the Republicans want to do it at 500 The Democrats do it at $1,200. She doesn't talk about that as well. Whatever its numbers, she just doesn't talk about. But she does talk about children going hungry. Children going hungry. Um, next. <laughs> I'm on this page. It's I, I'm not joking. I'm on this page. It's children going hungry. I go to this page. It's children going hungry. Thank you for your continued leadership for the people of the children. People of the children? Thank you for your continued leadership for the people of the children. P.S. For the children, please participate in the Day of Action on Wednesday as children start the school year. How many times did you say the word children in this in this statement? It's just, it's all over the place. Children and children and children, state and local. Children, 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 state and local. Uh, <laughs> that's the wacko Nancy Pelosi news part of this broadcast. I um, hope you enjoyed it. So as we get back to uh, the item of business, 
the great news is that the parties are very, very close. No one is going to give Nancy Pelosi her $2.3 trillion offer. It's just not going to happen. Um, and no one, and I don't really don't think she's going to get the $2.3 trillion offer. And I really got to tell you that the minute that the president offers $2 trillion, if he does, Nancy Pelosi will just basically be tarred and feathered. And, you know, um, <laughs> she will just, you know, be... Um, Put in the dunk machine at the at the uh, at the <laughs> at the state fair, and you can just roll up with a flannel cake, a funnel cake, and just you know enjoy it with a whipped cream where you dunk Nancy. Because at this point, at this point, the president is only seven hundred billion dollars away from a deal. Having raised his offer thirty percent, he only has a little bit more to go. And Nancy's proposal of telling people where to land for purposes of negotiation isn't going to work. Um, really, really great, incredible news. So why is this happening? And when would you get your stimulus checks? And why is something like this evolving this way? This is what I'm going to cover on the next broadcast, the special that comes up after this. Why the timing of the second stimulus package in September is so important and why it's important to know how soon you get the checks um, and why the president may likely and probably is trying to orchestrate a deal at a particular time because ultimately it helps him more than it helps Nancy. Stay tuned for that broadcast coming up next. Um, meantime, do me a couple favors. One, please like this video. I mean, this was not news that was mainstream. Um, if someone would ever say, where did you find this? Wait, where? Where was this? I didn't see this. What's your links? Well, Roy just, you know, is syndicated. Um, but this was not a widespread news report. This is stuff that's really buried. Um, the other parts of Nancy's comments and the twisting and the numbers that Steve Mnuchin has offered and her claims that he didn't offer that, this requires a lot of attention to detail. I've been watching, you know, Steve Mnuchin every time he appears on CBC way early on the West Coast. I mean, way before sunrise. Because ultimately what happens is when Steve Mnuchin talks, CNBC may not transcribe the entire broadcast. And I know those are the only real times that as viewers of this channel, you'll get real hardcore numbers about where the stimulus package is. And I'm your guidance, your, your source to get those hardcore numbers. And so it's so important to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, go to the, right below this video, there's a, there's a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up because it really helps the algorithm. I've been battling all week with some people really putting out incredibly bad stories and untrue remarks like the postal service thing last Sunday was a stimulus deal, a stimulus package, a stimulus check. I mean, really, really bad stuff that I've had to deal with. And unfortunately, this channel would go lower in the rank because they have people just, you know, feeding into just fake news. And so it's so important to hit that like button and always hit that subscribe and alert. So when a new video goes live, when Donald offers more to Nancy and Nancy says, tomorrow, pray for children. Go to bed, pray for children. Wake up, eat some breakfast, and think about children. And, you know, um, children going hungry is top priority for Nancy and staying local. I will update you in the channel. As always, stay informed, stay motivated, stay smiling. And coming up after this video is that special stimulus and September, when you would expect to see a stimulus check, and how all the other parts of the stimulus package would be delivered to you quickly thereafter. Have a great day.